Culver and this is a 3D Studio Max and Tie Flow tutorial. We're going to be creating this. Okay, and this is a very simple setup. It's a beginner tutorial. A link to this jar will be provided in the description. What it is is a capsule that's been modified with a shell and a turbo smooth. This is just a sphere that's been scaled down on the Z-axis with a UVW map applied. Okay, so this is what the simulation looks like. Okay, not bad. So what we'll do is we'll just redo it. Let's go to our perspective. Alright, create a tie icon and that is located underneath the create tab. Helpers. You may have to click on this drop down here to get the tie flow, but it's the tie icon. You create that position at about like this above the jar. And then you go back to the standard primitives, tie flow. Create that, go over here to modify tab, open editor. this out of okay. okay so drag out a birth operator down to 120 frames go ahead and drag out a shape drop it on there remove this and we want to Click on the little sphere you've made. Add selected. Let's dra drag out a position icon. We want to pick our tie icon. So change display to geometry. So it's creating spheres. So let's just drag out a scale. Check this, and then on the Z, scale that down. That's good. We can drag out a rotation. We can drag out a spin. drag out a speed. Under speed, increase magnitude. Let's just say to uh, four. Right, let's uh, change this along icon arrow. Pick the icon. Now let's use a time test and we'll say for five frames with a variation of three frames and then we're going to turn these into physics shapes. physics collision. We can pick our jar and to solve this we just come over here change it to mesh okay and we could Change the particle count to something meaningful. Okay, let's say more like 6500.
Okay, well, I mean, that, that is pretty much it. But uh, there is, as I don't know if you could notice it, there's some jittering going on, and that would definitely show up. You can see it all throughout the whole thing. And that's because the forces that are being applied, and we have just the basic, uh, we haven't changed. You know, we can increase the time step. And this would you know, obviously improve that, but and to give you a little bit more information, just to kind of think about, we could uh, use a property test, right? Let's uh, just for a second lower these back down so the computer can work a little faster. So we got our property test, and we can change the test type to velocity magnitude, right? And we could use, to help us with this, just for what's going on here, we could use, a, drag out a display data, and check that, because we don't need it. Velocity magnitude, we can look and kind of see that see that number I and mean, I can see it but I don't know if you can but it's 5.8 and it's traveling through the air but when it reaches the bottom and starts to slow down that number drops 0 0.01 but it still has the forces being applied to it so it might want to you know jitter and like I said we could increase those settings and that would help to solve that problem but it would just take longer so what we can do here is we can this property test we can drop this down say if anything is less than 0 0.03 if its velocity magnitude is less than 0 0.03 then what we want to do drag out a physics switch into a new event change it to kinematic Connect it to the property test. Add a stop operator. So as you can see by the color here, let's change this something we can see. And now these particles are stopping. So now if we go back up here, 6500. Got too many. Let's go down to 6,000. Okay. Drag on a mesh, hold shift, drag it over, drag it over. Material ID, drag this out. Changes to random. One through five is good. Okay, and here is the map that you would apply, but just to let's just start it over again. So what you would do is just a new V-ray material. down to about six that's six point six six and then go up here to make this into a v-ray blend material keep old material go to the first layer here and the v-ray material and add the, the bitmap provided or whichever you would like if it's this map, you need to invert it. Okay, now let's.
let's just so from here from here we create a multi sub object keep old material and then we just basically copy this paste and let's set number to five and then just go into each of these Okay, now you have your material, apply it to the tie flow. If you had any problems, if your results didn't turn out in the way that, that mine did here and you need some help, drop a comment below and I will see what I can do. I appreciate you watching the video. Thank you.